just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Hello everyone, it is Monday evening and no I did not wear my hair like this to work. I just got home and I braided each side because I'm going to put it up. It was sticking on the back of my neck and it wasn't hot today. You hear my girls? They're loud. It wasn't hot today. It was like overcast and actually it looks like it's going to rain today. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is as soon as I came home, I braided it up and I'm actually going to put my little scarf on and I'm going to cook dinner and maybe clean up my room a little bit because it's kind of a mess. So this is my dinner steak and salad. Just laying around watching um, The Office. I am on the fourth season. Good morning. It is, I don't even know what today is. It's Tuesday. It's my late day and I'm just getting ready for work. I'm so tired. When don't I say that in the mornings? Y'all know I'm not a morning person. Y'all ever have the mornings y'all wake up and y'all just like, whatever. I feel like calling in, but I'm not. And it's like, I get there when I get there. <laughs> That's how I feel. So I'm not going to be late, but I'm not even dressed yet, as you guys can see. And I'm supposed to leave in 30 minutes. Yeah, uh, yeah 30 minutes. Whatever. I'm hearing things you guys shines in the shower and I thought Tyree came in my room for some reason I don't know this hair done this wild hair look at this look at this alfalfa for real I need to make my coffee to go here's my Tinkerbell Mornings aren't magical cup. I know you guys have seen this before. I've showed you guys this. Yeah, and then in the back it just says mornings aren't magical. I still need to take my thyroid medicine. So I shouldn't be putting anything in my mouth yet. Because with my thyroid pills, you're supposed to take it first thing when you wake up. And usually I do. I mean, I always do. Nothing to eat or drink other than water for the first hour. But that's not going to happen today i'll take it but i'm gonna have my coffee so it should be okay at least my levels are okay because i went a couple weeks ago you guys i told you guys about it and everything was okay all right you guys just put the alarm on trike is still here so i just put it on stay and let's go to work I wait till I get my garage fixed because this is for the birds. I don't like doing this. Oh my you guys, this pimple just showed up overnight. It was not here yesterday. And I don't want to pick at it because I just don't. Just letting my car warm up. It's 8.31. I should be one minute down the road. <laughs> but whatever. I need some new sunshades, you guys. I always keep my least expensive ones in the car. That way, if they get tossed around or whatever, I don't have to worry about it. And I do have this place at on a top here that I can put my sunglasses in, but I don't wanna do that. Yeah, these things are getting like really worn. I think it's because of the chemicals that I use in my hair, but all of my sunglasses around here will start to peel. Put it this way, on my cheap sunglasses, not the expensive ones, but my cheap sunglasses, all of them, it never fails after a while. I don't know if you guys can see, but it starts to peel 
where I put it behind my ears. And the only thing I could think of is my hair. Well, not my hair, the hair, the products I use for my hair. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't know if you guys can see. Why am I whispering, he can't hear me. The neighbor across the street, it's an older married couple. I don't know if you guys seen him walk by, but they are so weird. Okay, let me not say they. They're not the weird ones. The weird ones are actually on this side of me. Um, yeah, but the ones that are across the street, it's an older couple, and the wife is really, really nice. I will see him walking the streets. He'll be drunk as ever. He'll be stumbling. He sits out of his house all day long on the side of his house in this chair, and he'll just sit there all day. He actually went into the house now, but there's a chair right by their garage leave for work and he's there and I'll come back and he's still there and it's like are you and your wife fighting you don't like what's in your house I don't know but we've seen him like literally just drunk walking the streets and we know that for a fact because we've seen alcohol in his hand when he's walking and it's a little warm you guys I love springtime I know I'm going all over the place but I still bring my sweater because sometimes it gets cold in the office. Anyway, what was I saying? So we have seen him with alcohol in his hand, like beer cans. So yeah, he'll walk the streets drunk and it's not very good because he's actually walked out in front of me, not paying attention and I had to slam on my brakes. Yeah, not good at all. Okay, so y'all know how Savannah's doing. Um, her senior project on giving back to animals and someone donated this kitty litter oh my lanta that's heavy good morning everyone it is thursday it has been really windy lately and kind of not cold but cool i guess i don't know and i think it's supposed to be windy again today did i say it was thursday my early day. I'm gonna get going in just a minute here, but I just wanted to talk to you guys. Let's see the weather. If it will be windy. Okay, it's showing not today, but tomorrow it's supposed to be windy again. I don't know. Who's to say? Anyway, so the night that the girls were going through like, our old pictures and everything. We seen pictures of Leo and I really started missing him. Leo was the perfect dog for us. And I started thinking about it and I don't know if I told you guys, so when we first moved in this house, we got two chihuahuas, which would, probably was a mistake. And they were puppies. They were just like barely weaned from their mom. And it was the most horrible experience. We ended up giving those back to the owner. And then we got Leo. No, I take that back. Then we went to, <clears throat> you know how PetSmart has those adoption things outside the store every other Saturday or something like that. So we went to one of those and we actually found a Pitbull Terrier mix. She wasn't that big, but she was big, if that makes any sense. She wasn't even as big as Cody. And her name was Emma. And she was just like the sweetest animal and they were telling us everything about her that she's very calm and you know very just like a good family dog and even though I didn't want a pit bull I don't know for some reason I liked her so Tariq was not with us I don't even know I don't even know if I told you guys this story yet but Tariq wasn't with us he was actually spending the night at my cousin's house so he was there all weekend so he finally comes home on Sunday or Saturday night something like that and Emma took one look at him and she growled she bared her teeth she wouldn't go nowhere near him and she got kind of like skittish and we tried everything we could to try to make her feel comfortable with him and still nothing so I finally called the place where I adopted her from and they go oh yeah she's not good around males at all and I'm like why didn't you tell me this I kept saying my son's gonna be happy to see her and stuff like that and they didn't say anything so we had to take her back then we adopted Leo oh and Emma was Emma was full-grown 
So then we adopted Leo and Leo was full grown. We got him. We adopted him from this place called the Dog Spot. We actually went to Lodi to get him where he was being fostered and he was already housebroken and everything like that. He was the perfect dog for her, for us. He was just older. And then, of course, you guys know the thing with Cody. So I started thinking, I'm like, you know what? We're probably just not good with puppies. We're good with older dogs. Because Leo was perfectly fine. We had no issues with him. And I know each dog is going to have their own personality and stuff like that. But I'm kind of thinking about trying this out for a little bit because I do miss having a dog around. When Leo was alive, sometimes you guys didn't even see him because he was getting old and I guess he just stopped running around as much and he wasn't really all that active. His hearing went, he would run into our glass door because his eyesight was going as well. So I think we're better with older dogs, like maybe young, teen adult dogs or whatever like that so I was thinking of fostering a dog not a puppy but a dog that's already housebroken and I've already sent in my application to a place so I think that's what we're going to do because if you foster them if it doesn't work out for us then someone could adopt a dog but they also told me that when time comes for the dog to be adopted by someone else, they give us first option to adopt the dog. So I think that's the better way to go instead of, oh, let's get this dog and try it out. Because, you know, they're supposed to be in their forever homes and sometimes things don't work out. And I know some of you may not agree, but yeah. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Try to foster a dog and go from there. Good morning everyone, it is Friday. Yes, I know, vlog fail from yesterday. But when I got home, because I got off at 3.30, I took a nap and then we went to Bible study and after that we came home. So nothing much to record. Today is Friday, I'm so happy. Um, I always wake up in a good mood on Friday because it's like, ooh, let's knock these five hours out and I'm done. So yeah, I am actually going to get some more paint after work today I'm feeling in the mood to continue on with the dining room and all that and then I'll come home and do things that I need to do around the house probably clean up I'm looking at my little window there the lighting just made it seem like I seen something that shouldn't have been there anyway let me show you guys what I'm talking about so I have this window up there just like the one I have in the dining room but next door here it's just a one story, so that's why I don't worry about covering it or anything like that. No one can see in, and just the way the house is, I see a tree and the top of my neighbor's house, and it just looked it like someone was on her roof. I know, weird. So anyway, I got on tangent about the window, forgot what I was telling you guys. I'm just going to come home and do some stuff today. Um, finish cleaning my room, it's not a mess, but I need to vacuum and clean my bathroom area, and... Just straighten up the house a little bit. So that's about it. I just want to get these five hours out the way so I can come home and just be home. Um, how are things going at work, you ask? Thank you for asking. Um, it's been peaceful because one of the assistants in the back, she's been on vacation almost a full month. And this is this is the one, I think I told you guys, she's very loud and unprofessional and she's very like demanding and I, people just like listen to everything that they tell she tells them to do when i say people i mean the people who work in the back office the other assistant and um the hygienist but i don't because i'm just strong-willed and i may be quiet and soft-spoken at work but um i have my own mind and you cannot bully me. So anyway, she has been gone on vacation and it's been so quiet, so peaceful. And yeah, so we have one more week without her and then she comes back. Woosa! Anyway, I better get going um, a little bit early because I do need to get gas. I hate getting gas in a car. I wish it could just magically fill up. I don't know why I just hate stopping for gas.
all right y'all so i just made it to lowe's i am going to run in and hopefully it'll be quick um, and get the paint that i need and the reason why i brought this is because i think i left the swatch at home or i don't know where i put that little color thing and i wanted this exact brand so i can make sure everything's the same so that's the reason why i i guess i could have just took a picture of this right here whatever so let me go get the paint so i'm at home and as you can see i wasted no time putting my comfortable clothes on and i did get my paint from lowe's i'm so excited because tyreek is off work today and he is going to help me paint the high parts well he's going to paint the high parts and then i'll just worry about painting what i can reach later so i'm excited about that to finally get the paint done at least in this room in the dining room and the hallway well the hallway is already done so yeah the only thing i that's really bugging me is i got paint on my baseboards that i know you guys are gonna say why didn't you tape it off because i was too lazy i really should have so yeah i need to figure out how i'm gonna get this paint off my baseboards because in some spots it looks really bad i will show you guys okay so look at these baseboards pretty bad i know it looks like a little kid colored outside the lines yeah that's what i get for being lazy all right so i am just washing the area rugs that i use in my room y'all so you remember when i got me and savannah's floors not our floors but our carpet cleaned because i tried to do it myself with the rug doctor from Rayleigh's or whatever like that and it just totally jacked up my floors or my rug so anyway I had someone come in and did a professional job and it didn't really get all that clean okay it got cleaner but it's still I hate this carpet I, I'm actually thinking about pulling up one side of the carpet in the corner of my room that no one goes that way I can see what's underneath because who knows maybe there's hardwood floors underneath that I would need to whatever they do to hardwood floors to liven them up again so you never know I can always get more carpet yes and also what I don't like about the carpeting in my bedroom is I don't know why but for some reason who got the wonderful idea to put carpet where my bathtub is like it's by a bathtub and the sink I mean I can see area rugs but to me that just makes no sense at all I definitely want that tile or something like that but as for this room, I'm not sure I know what to do with it. I can always have someone come in and measure it and find out how much it is to put carpeting in. I'm sure it's not as expensive as hardwood floors. I don't know. I haven't really did the research, but yeah, every time I look at this carpet, especially like the entryway where you walk in and out, it just looks really bad. And we really don't wear our shoes in the house. When the ladies come over for Bible study, I don't make them take their shoes off because I have hardwood floors they don't come in my room so remember i told you guys that savannah and i got new phones the xr and our old phones the 7 plus those were completely paid off yes we had it long enough to pay it off because even though i like iphones now that i've switched over as long as there's nothing wrong with my phone i'm not one that has to have the newest and the latest and the greatest iphone and the people who are who are nothing's wrong with that it's just I'm not that way so anyway our 7 plus yeah was paid off I sold mine and got the money so Savannah sold hers also and the guy that she sold it to so it's through an app and you take a picture of the phone and you tell them everything that's wrong with the phone she had a little crack at the bottom of the phone it was barely visible but she took a picture of that and said it in her description so the guy should have seen this right so he ordered the phone he got the phone and he said it's cracked and she said i literally told you that in my description he said well i want my money back okay so the way the app works they won't give the guy back his money until everything's finalized right so when she was supposed to get her phone back let me show you guys what he sent instead okay so i'm showing you guys this and i'm covering up savannah's name and our address um but he tore out his 
name and address, which he's stupid because when we mailed him the phone, we still have the printout of the shipping label. So this is what came. When I got it from the mail, I started feeling it. I'm like, this does not feel like a phone. It's bulky. And we were actually kind of scared to open it because we we're like, we don't know what's in there. Look what this guy did. He sent toys. <laughs> he sent a stinking dinosaur and a bear. This is what he sent instead of my daughter's phone. So me being me, I was like, oh no, he didn't. He sent the bear, he wanna see a bear. He wants to see mama bear. So I contacted the app and I told him exactly what he did. We sent pictures of the front of the package and what was in it. Ooh, I just had a sneezing attack. There's dust flying in here. I need to clean the, how about to say the wings of my fan. I need to clean the blades on my fan. Anyway. What was I saying? So we sent pictures of the package that we got, the inside, what was in it, and the shipping label and everything. And so they took a couple of days, but they reimbursed Savannah her money. And the guy hasn't contacted her or anything like that. And I'm like, how dare you? This is rude. I told Savannah, I said, don't even engage in conversation with him. I really wanted to so bad, but he has our address. I mean, we have his, we're not gonna do anything, but I'm like, you know what, don't engage in conversation. Don't just don't say anything. She got her money, so whatever. I can't believe he did that. All right, so I found my painter's tape or whatever you wanna call it. I'm going to tape off the baseboards and everything that I should have did in the first place in the area that I have not done yet. That way I won't have a bigger mess to clean up when I'm done. So yeah, and then I actually think I'm going to paint a little bit tonight. And no, I told you guys Tyreek was going to help me paint tonight. Well, he probably still will, but he left to go get his hair cut and he said he had some errands to run because this is his day off. So I'm like, okay, I guess you could run your errands and help me when you get back. <laughs> but anyway, I just, now that I have the paint, I just wanted it done, but he has stuff to do too. So, okay, let's do this. Okay, so I cleaned up the paint along the baseboards. Most of it looks fine. That's the best I can do. I learned my lesson. I am going to tape it off from now on. Some of it peeled off easily. Some of it I had to use this, whatever it's called. And the rest, I was able to take a wet rag and wipe it off. So, all right, y'all, let me mute this. So I'm about to start painting. Yes, I have every color imaginable bandana. So if you name the color, pretty much I got it. I'm gonna start painting and hopefully Tariq will be back in a little while. That way he can finish and then hopefully I'll, I'll be done. Yeah, I'm excited you guys. I'm excited to finally get finished so I can proceed with my dining room. Okay everybody, so this whole area is done except for like the really high parts where I'm too afraid to get because I'm not getting on the ladder. Um, yeah, I'm, I just won't go too far on the ladder. That side's all done. That's not done yet. And up there and right there, that was green also. So all that is waiting on Tyreek to do and ignore my mess here. I just pushed everything to the center. But uh, you guys, I really love this color. I really, really do. It's just like, I don't know, to me it's like a calming color, way better than the green. So I'm excited, you guys. I will need one more can of paint and then that area will be done. And then I can start like buying decorations. I'm still holding out on the dining room table because I told you guys the one that I really, really want is $2,000 and I don't want to pay that much for it. So I'm actually going to try to find it cheaper or wait till it goes down. We haven't had a dining room table for this long and when we had it, we wasn't using it because it was so just wobbly. So yeah, I can probably hold out a little bit longer. We'll see you guys. And who gets paint on their ankle like that? Who does that? How does this happen? All right, you guys, so I'm just going to end the video here. It's not that late, but I am going to call it a night. Well, not go to sleep, but end out the vlog so I can upload it. I got my 
laptop already there ready so anyway you guys thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up do me a favor before you leave hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video bye